Hi, today I'd like to talk about tea sets and I'll show you three of them. Okay, the first one is Francis I. Kind of an interesting story on this one. Reed and Barton went bankrupt last year and they sold the contents of the Reed and Barton Museum in Taunton and we bought this tea set that they had on display at the Reed and Barton Museum. It's a beauty. Now, the France the First tea set was the probably the prettiest and the best-selling tea set of the 20th century. This one's from the 1950s. It contains six pieces, coffee, tea, sugar, creamer, waste, kettle on stand, and tray, and it's it's a beautiful tea set. It's one of our most popular and very heavy, very well done. And the fact that it was for the museum makes it very special. Thank you. Okay, this is our second tea set. This one is by the Toll Company and the pattern is Paul Revere. They made a corresponding flatware pattern and that's why this would be collectible. Actually, the hollowware in Paul Revere is gorgeous. The flatware, not so much. They made interesting things in the flatware, but the pattern is not that interesting. I just love the design, the simplicity, the weight. I've never seen a Paul Revere tea set before, and I am very impressed. I once had a water pitcher. I really like that too, but I really like this Paul Revere tea set. Okay, one of our most sought after tea sets is the Tiffany Chrysanthemum. We just got this one in. They are beautiful. They are fairly rare. They are very desirable. So this tea set is from the 1880s. It has the same six pieces and a tray. A tea set like this sells for around $70,000, where the Paul Revere one sells for about $15,000. So it's the Cadillac as far as the quality and uh, the price. Also, the weight is very heavy. This one is a, about 600 ounces, where an average tea set with tray will be about 200, so about three times the normal. Uh, one other exceptional thing about this tea set is that the tray has all bright cut chrysanthemums all over it and that was only done for special tea sets and very early so a magnificent tea set Thank okay you. so uh, I'd like to talk about the pieces that are normally contained in a tea set and so this taller pot here is the coffee pot the smaller one is the teapot this one on the stand is called the hot water kettle. It tips. And then there is a sugar bowl, there is a creamer, and there is a waste bowl. I often get asked what the waste bowl is for. You can put your sugar packets in there, but the main reason was to sit underneath the spout to catch the, the drips. You can also put like used tea bags in there, th things like that. A rare piece of the tea set is the coffee urn. So you put coffee in here, it keeps it warm, and then you just use this little spigot in the front to release the coffee. Okay, now, should you buy a tea set? Why should you do it? Well, number one, it's a beautiful piece. You know, they're really good looking, and, you know, they're, they are a piece of art. Okay, number two is probably investment. So back in the early 1960s, my grandparents had a Francis I tea set and they were looking to sell it and my parents didn't have a lot of money and so they offered it to them for $300, a seven piece Francis I tea set. It was a good deal. It's probably something that at that time would be on the market for a little less than a thousand dollars and so my parents did buy it it was quite expensive for them at the time today uh, that tea set would sell for 
25 to 30 thousand dollars. It was quite a good investment if you bought it, you know, during the 1960s and held it till today. And then, you know, it's a really nice accent. You know, looks beautiful on on a coffee table or in your dining room. But the original purpose of a tea set is to serve coffee and tea. And I have never served coffee and tea from a Sterling tea set. And I think most of the customers who bought them from me, and I've sold a lot of tea sets in the last 30 years, very few of them ever use it. And so its original purpose, not so much, but there are other reasons to buy a tea set. Thank you.